Can you imagine something that has never been done before? I can imagine umbrellas for your shoes. I can imagine a coconut cap. Meow. I can imagine a ceiling made of trees. I can imagine jelly bean teeth. Gutai was an art movement from Japan. It began in 1954, after the Second World War, and ran up until 1972. It was founded by artist Yoshihara Jiro, and a group of other artists who all wanted the art world to do things that had never been done before. They thought art, up until then, had been old-fashioned, and they described it as a fraud. In 1956, Yoshihara Jiro wrote the Gutai Group Manifesto, and in it, he talked about the art of the past and said, Lock up these corpses in the graveyard. Yikes! There are many artists in the Gutai group, all experimenting with different ways of making pictures. Tanaka Atsuko created a magnificent dress that was made of colourful flashing light bulbs. Motonaga Sadamasa created artworks with smoke, making mysterious floating rings in the air. The Gutai artists considered both of these actions to be pictures. And they asked, who says paintings have to be made with a paintbrush? Or even paint? Shiraga Kazuo was famous for painting with his feet. And in his work, Challenging Mud, he was experimenting with a new kind of painting altogether, using his whole body and making his art without any paper or a canvas. When you make a painting where how you use your body is as important as what you paint, it's called action painting. And the Gutai group were among the first in the world to do this. But one of the things they are most famous for is destroying paper. Shimamoto Shozo created abstract paintings on layers of newspaper glued together and then poked holes in them. He first did this by accident and then became interested in how these different materials work together. Mm. Shimamoto Shozo was right. That does feel interesting. The Gutai artists would love to see their techniques being tried out by children because they thought that children should be able to enjoy making and experiencing art as much as adults. Sometimes they even took the inspiration from children. After World War II in Japan and around the world, artists like the Gutai group were really breaking boundaries. And sometimes that meant really breaking things. Sometimes really breaking really big things was passing through. One of the most famous Gutai performances created by Murakami Saburo. And it really was inspired by his son leaping through a studio wall, which, as in many Japanese homes, was made of paper. Murakami had found a way to make art using time and space. Kirin, which is the Japanese word for giraffe, was a children's poetry and art magazine created by Gutai member Yukita Yozo. The magazine has beautiful covers and designs and includes inspirational and unusual text written by children, for children. Murakami Saburo said, It is important for humankind to know the rules and follow them. It is more important though never to stop asking questions and answering them when you face something strange or unknown. The Gutai artists did lots of unique and exciting things making paintings on a bicycle, smashing jars of paint to create patterns, and pouring paint from a watering can. Can you imagine how boring art might be without them? But it wasn't just about being outrageous. There was a serious side to it. They really did set out to change art forever, and along with other artists from around the world, such as abstract expressionist painter Jackson Pollock, performance artist Alan Capro, and avant-garde sculptor Sengen and Goody. They did! 
I wonder how many other artists there are who we might not know about unless we go looking. Thankfully, there are now many artists who take their inspiration from the innovation, humour and free thinking of the Gutai group. Artists such as A. Arakawa and Tanaka Koki. So look them up too. And while you're at it, ask yourself, could I do something creative that has never been done before?